Alright, hey Halo Union, today we're doing a tutorial on a technique that I find to be very helpful. Um, maybe you have a little bit of time and you, you can't set up your shot how you want or you just want to do something a little surreal. This is uh, a quick one that I think you guys might find helpful. So what we have are two shots. We have this shot here of the mime and then you have the other mime walking out the back door. Uh, we had all the theater lights on so you could see everything which I like being able to see him back there obviously but up front it's way too bright especially compared to the rest of the scene we had. We also have the lights off shot which he looks really cool. It's very blue. Obviously it's dark in there however as you can see, it's way too dark to see him back there. He's silhouetted, but before he's back there, you know, it's way th just a little too dark. What we're going to do is basically combine the two shots. So, uh, let's take the pen tool up at the top. Also press G on your keyboard. And we're actually, we're going to move the lights off and beneath the lights on. And we're basically just going to draw a mask around what part of the image we roughly do want to use of the light. So we're going to be feathering it a lot so you want to kind of give it as much leeway as possible, give it some room. Um, the mime over here kind of moves around so you got to be careful not to go too far over. Um, I also don't want to go too far over here or it'll be a little distracting. You want to really focus on the aisle and him. So that looks pretty good. Um, though I accidentally did that on the lights off. So I'll hit MM, copy it, Command C, delete it, go to lights on, Command V. And now we have just this. So I think you can see where this is going. So if you go to the lights on layer, press MM on the keyboard, you'll have all your mask properties. I'm just going to up the feather a lot. You want it to look somewhat natural, obviously a little stylized, never hurt anybody, but uh, you know how it is. So that's pretty good. Also when you're just dealing with transparency, it's hard to tell if you're going a little overboard. So a technique I learned is if you go to Effect, Generate, Fill you'll have this red color so you can really tell like what's transparent and what's not so this is obviously without it this is with it um, so you know really what you're getting I don't I want to keep what's in there mostly non-transparent so I think that's pretty good we'll turn off the fill and that's our shot so now you got you got your dark scene, you got your mime, but then you still have the aisle lit. Problem is the aisle looks a little a little too bright for me. I'm not really selling the whole lights out look. So we will just add an adjustment to that. We'll go up to effect, color correction, curves, go to the blue channel. Really crank that. I think I'm going to go to the red a little bit. Lower that. A little too much there. Right about there is pretty good. Also go to the RGB. Should lower the brightness a little bit. Maybe give it a little bit of an S curve. And that looks pretty good. Another keyboard shortcut is if you press Command Shift H, you'll take away everything on the screen so you can see the image better. Um, pretty good. So before, way too dark. After, combine two images. Looks pretty darn good if you ask me. This is just a quick tip. I think you can really apply it to a lot of different things as long as you have a stable shot. You know, it's really easy to do. Yeah, so please check out Marceau by clicking the link right there. Um, and we'll be doing a tons of other tutorials in the very near future. 
so click subscribe as well click like if you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching